example of how to use the factor theorem, um, which is part of the remainder theorem, uh, to factor completely a polynomial given one of its uh, factors. So what we're going to do here is, um, since we know that x minus 2 is a factor of this polynomial, we're going to use the idea that if we synthetically divide by positive 2 through this polynomial, the answer should come up to be 0. And what's left over must be uh, the quotient. So here, let's set up a little synthetic division. We know we're going to synthetically divide by a positive 2 because it's x minus 2 here. The coefficients with no missing powers would be uh, 6, uh, negative 17 for the x squared, uh, 6 for the x, and then 8 finally. And then we're going to drop down the 6. So 2 times 6 is 12. We'll put the 12 here. Negative 17 minus 12 is a negative 5. Uh, 2 times negative 5 is negative 10, plus that negative, uh, positive 6, sorry, would be uh, negative 4. 2 times negative 4 is 8, negatively. And when we add those together, we get the answer we were expecting, which is 0. What's nice about this, though, is we're down to three numbers. Um, we started with a cube, so this must be a square. Uh, so when we get down to three numbers, we're dealing with a quadratic. So I'm going to rewrite it as a quadratic which would be 6x squared minus 5x minus 4. And if all we have to do is hopefully factor this polynomial. So to factor this we're going to multiply the first and the last which will give us 24. We're looking for factors of 24 that subtract up to a negative 5 which would be 8 and 3. So I'm going to separate this away as uh, 6x squared it's going to be an 8x it's going to be a 3x to give us that 5x, and then the minus 4. All we have to do is figure out which sign is which. Since it's a minus 4, there have to be opposite signs. Um, and since it's a negative 5 in the middle, the 8 is going to be the negative, and the 3 is going to be the positive. And then we just go through and group and factor. So we group the first two. Uh, the GCF of the first two is 2x. Left behind is 3x minus 4. And the GCF of the second two, since there really isn't one, is just going to be a positive 1. And left behind is 3x minus 4. And then we can factor it completely as 3x minus 4. Pulled out. And left behind will be this 2x and the plus 1. We had uh, earlier discussions about factoring. So you might want to look back at how to factor uh, trinomials, especially with non-lead coefficients of 1. Now don't forget, this is not f of x. This is just the factoring of the 6, the negative 5, and the negative 4. Don't forget that x minus 2 is one of the original ones. So we'll just tag that on. And we can say right now that this whole thing, in factored form, is the original function f of x. So we have factored 6x cubed minus 17x squared plus 6x plus 8 into 3x minus 4 times 2x plus 1 times x minus 2. Kind of neat.